Hello everyone. Today I'm doing a project to me not only because it's going to be functional but because it's going to be personal. Uh, I had a day opened up here that allowed me to do something that I've been wanting to do. You're all going to probably laugh at it but it means a lot to me. Uh, here in a very short period of time Everything is going to break loose around here, and we are going to be rear ends and elbows for some time throughout the summer. So, today was a day to finally get to do something I've been wanting to. So, come on back and uh, sit back, drink a cup of coffee, and let's, uh, let's get this done. long time ago well okay maybe it was only 10 years ago when I was four maybe it was a few years of longer than that but a long long time ago we'll stick with that I guess when I was four years old my mom and dad they bought an old house now we're talking this thing was already older than than I am now <laughs> And uh, they decided that they were going to become homeowners. So they bought this home. And uh, my dad uh, commenced to start to uh, revamp it a bit. He put on new siding on the outside. And uh, he got up on the... I, re I remember this like it was yesterday. He got up on that steel roof. He had a rope tied to him. And... He started painting it, and he made one wrong move and hit that wet paint, and down he came, and the rope caught him just as he went off the edge. That all but laid him up for a little bit, but he got it finished. Anyway, in the process of doing this, what he did was uh, he took what used to be, a, if I'm not mistaken, because like I said, it's been a while, a very large kitchen and uh, decided that he was going to split it and he was going to make an indoor bathroom and a closet for him and mom uh, you know to, to keep their clothes in now that just tells you when we moved in this place there'd be an outhouse sitting out back and uh, a lot of you probably have no clue what that would be like to go out there in sub-zero weather to an outhouse to take care of things. So, yeah, he uh, he decided he was going to put an indoor bathroom. and But he also decided he was going to redo the kitchen. Now, one of the things he did was he brought in some uh, kitchen cabinets. They were metal. And uh, they were white, and they clanged and they banged every time you opened and closed the door, but they worked. Now I grew up with those being keeping all the food I ever wanted to eat in them, and uh, it not only was the cabinets up on the wall, but there was also the sink and the, the cabinets underneath it. They were matching. And uh, anyway. As years went by, and my uh, grandmother passed away, and my dad, being the his her executor, he had a an auction, because at that point in time he had just built mom a new house right behind the old one, and the old house was going to be tore down. So I drove back over there to the Hoosier State, and uh, I went to that auction, and uh, here. I bought me some metal cabinets out of the kitchen. Now, these were all the metal cabinets that were hanging on the wall. This one here and this one there was set over top of the sink. This one and this one are double doored. And these are opposite single doored. So 
everything was aligned just so so that mom could keep all of her dishes and glasses and and f going to be used and frequently er, in the spices and and uh, food can canned foods and stuff in that order well I bought these years ago I'm gonna say it was well over 20 years ago I believe and I brought them here and I installed these down in the basement in my makeshift workshop down there well now I got me a, better, a bigger workshop and I decided yeah they're gonna go out here and if you look back here in the back and I know don't look at the mess I have yet to have the time or ability but here is a big huge wall space back in the corner and that's exactly where they're getting ready to go now what I'm doing right now is I'm wire brushing them you can see my angle grinder up there with that real stiff wire brush and I'm gonna paint part of them not all of them it's a workshop for, for you know and uh, I don't need to paint them all but I'm gonna paint all the fronts and and all the bottoms and and some of the sides at least one coat and then the fronts will get the two second coat I've got the uh, appliance epoxy paint that uh, should help anyway just to make them look nicer and I'm gonna have them hanging in there so I just thought I'd bring you along I mean I have already been working on these out here for an hour or two uh, with that big wire brush and I still <laughs> there's a lot of area here I'm not gonna worry about the inside it's a shop they're shop cabinets I'll wipe them down before I start putting things in it and I'll probably have my wood lathe right underneath these back in the corner there so they're gonna get messed up anyway probably but they'll also be a great place for me to put my tools so I'll bring you along here in a little bit I'll show you here what I'm doing with that monster brush you can tell it's it's not pretty but it's going to be prettier when I get it painted it's not clean but it will be cleaner when I get done with the with the acetone wash on it but the one thing they are going to be they're going to be functional and they will forever be my mom and dad's now there's a lot in here that are it was mom and dad's and I will and every time I walk in here they're right there with me and this is just one of them so. okay we'll be back in a little bit and uh, show you the progress okay now well, you all may say that don't look like he's done much but they're all wire brushed getting ready to be uh, wiped down with uh, acetone and then uh, so long as the uh, breeze don't get much more than what it is now I'll get at least the first coat on these here fairly quickly so we'll show you what they look like when you when we get back okay well I've pretty much got them painted and I'm kind of glad that I decided not to paint all the surfaces the surfaces that are going to go against each other you can see I didn't paint that because I pretty much right down to paint I got well maybe a quarter of a can there left uh, for touch-ups but I I think they look pretty doggone good and so now we're going in to start the hanging process I went down to the basement and uh, measured where they were and uh, how high they were off which was seemed to be pretty good and uh, I've come up here and I started to mark it I'll show you what I'm going to do go in here and hopefully this is going to help me get rid of a lot of this clutter because a lot of it's the small stuff now what I'm hanging it with is these as most of you have seen these will be bolted or lag bolted with screws there up against the wall and uh, the cabinets will just set right down over top of them so I went and I don't know if you can see it let me see if I can zoom in yeah there's the line right there it's 
80 inches off of the floor. Now, 80 inches off the floor, when uh, we set one of these up, right on that line, the bottom of it on that line, makes this 78 inches, or no, excuse me, 20, 27 inches here. Uh, so, and it's, and from this line here down to this is 28, so it should fit with an inch play right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off, get started, see if I can do, I'm bringing it in 6 inches from that post right there, and get started and see if we can get a couple of them hung up here, and then I'll be back. Well, it's uh, coming on along, I got... One piece beyond halfway, and it looks like these two pieces will go right here and here and come right even with that board real close. And then down in here is where I should be able to put my wood lathe. So I think it's work, it's coming out pretty good, and they look pretty doggone good. So we'll be back when I have them all up, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, it's all up. It's almost yeah, about 11 and a half feet and that will give me a lot of, of uh, storage space. It's what I had down in the basement, like I said, and I had them cram packed full and uh, then I brought them up here and that's one of the things that's all over there. So once I get a lot of that little stuff back over here where it belongs, I'm going to have some open area uh, for better organization. This is Ted Holman. I'd like to thank you all for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed your visit. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Tell your family, tell your friends. Tell your co local cabinet maker. Uh, if these were wood like all the rest of them are, I'm sure they still they wouldn't be around today. Catch y'all the next time. Y'all have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.